Well, good day, everyone. I wanted to talk to you about, well, quite an exciting product for me because I love to take my iPhone out and do uh, vlogs, but I like to try and make them look filmic, uh, particularly when I'm traveling and things like that. Now, Sam Mark contacted me just recently and asked if I'd like to look at an anamorphic lens, uh, and I thought, wow, yeah, I'd love to. So they've sent me a couple of things. Let me switch over. So they've sent me the, these. So they've sent me this anamorphic lens. Now, it just clips on to the case that's included in this kit here um, and this is for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and it basically this is the uh, 1.33 uh, squeeze um, and it's the aspect ratio is 169 uh, and it's a 42 millimeter if you did want to say put a uh, an ND on there or something like that um, so it is an anamorphic lens and inside you get a cleaning pouch and clip on mounts as well so let me show you what's in this first so if we take this out let's have a look so inside the box there's a case that's included now this is the um, the cheaper version there is a better version that I'll show you in a minute uh, and the difference mostly is that that this is plastic on this one whereas the other one it's metal uh, and also the cutouts are a little bit different as well you get this little clip on as well that you can use if you didn't want to use the case you can just use that and that will basically just clip over uh, your um, cameras like that so that's how you could use that if you wanted to use it on a phone and not use uh, the um, cases at all so that's that's quite a nice feature if you wanted to go that way and then you have uh, the case itself I won't put this one on I'll just put the other one on just to show you uh, the better case and in here um, you have the lens and I think there's a cleaning cloth in here too. Yep, there's a cleaning cloth there as well. Now, the lens itself just has a little cover at the back. Uh, you peel that off. This is what's going to screw into these mounts on the camera. So it will just screw into here. And I'll show you that with the other case. And then you just have a lens cover as well. Uh, it's interesting when you look at it because you can see the, the sort of a blue line. And that's where you get those beautiful light streaks uh, as from um, when you're filming. Uh, there is a little mark on the top here that I'll talk about when I put it onto the other case so you can sort of see how that works um, because if you don't put it in the correct position it, you will have distortion that's sort of showed now that's the kit itself so let me show you now the better case so let me just move these over for a second um, and I'll show you the difference between the two of them so this case uh, if you're looking at the difference between the two of these, this has a felt sort of back uh, on there and uh, it's also got the round part here so this could be used for, with your magnetic adapters. I'm not sure whether this one, it probably would work too, but um, this will have uh, the magnetic adapter in there. Um, and also, if you look, this has buttons whereas this one just has cutouts that are sort of in there. Um, so this looks much more professional and, and it feels like a, a nicer product. It's got a sort of more leathery feel to this and this is metal so uh, it's a lot more um, robust than what the plastic one is. Uh, so let's put this on the camera, and, uh, on the phone, and I'll show you how it all works. So let's stick it in. So it fits beautifully when you look at it. Now all you do to use this is you just screw it in. Now it won't work on the um, ultra wide. Uh, it's just too wide for this lens, so you can't use it on that lens. I, I did sort of put it on with the manual adapter to sort of see what happens, but it does show the edge of uh, the lens, uh, so it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna stick it on the telephoto lens. Now it just screws in. So you just screw it in as far as it goes and it'll just become tight. Now you'll notice now there's a line that shows up on the top here. Now that's also on this one as well. So it's got a line that's here. Um, and then what that does is it tells you roughly where these sort of have to line up. Now it's just telling you it has to hit on the dead top. If you don't do that, what you get is um, the uh, picture will be distorted. So you've got to make sure that you do put this on the correct place. And then this is sort of how it looks. I'll just switch to the other camera to show you on that one. So you can see here um, how it looks. It is a metal lens there, and there's also a screw-in attachment here that you could put a variable ND on there, or if you had that size filter. Yeah, it's a 42 millimeter diameter. So what we'll do now is I'll show you how uh, this works. 
because uh, I'm going to be using Filmic Pro, so I'll show you how to sort of set that up. And I'll also show you how, if you turn this little dial at the top, the front there, uh, what difference that makes with distortion and things like that. So we'll go and look at Filmic Pro now. Then I'm going to go out and do some shooting with this this afternoon, just to sort of show you the type of quality that you'll get from this. I'm really excited because I love the lens flares and things that you get from this with lights from traffic, uh, from car headlights and things like that. So let's go and look at the operation first. Okay, so let's uh, launch Filmic Pro, so I'll show you how this works. So you just launch Filmic Pro, and this is the setup. I'm not going to take you through uh, how this all works. There's plenty of uh, online tutorials about Filmic Pro, but I will show you how you set this up to use this lens. If you did turn this around, you'll see how it distorts. This is why I was saying to you that uh, you do have to be careful about where you position that um, lens uh, and like I said it's very easy though because it's got that line up the top that you know you just have to have that up the top and then it gives you the correct position to use it. So all we do is we just click on this little cogwheel down the bottom down here and that will open up the settings. Now there's a hardware um, section right here now if I click on that and move down to where it shows there's a, a 1.33 anamorphic adapter now that's what you would turn on now underneath there's also a 1.55 so if you had that lens you'd turn that on now at the moment, if you're looking at the image here, it's not de-squeezed, so it looks really odd when you're looking at it. But if I go into here and turn on the hardware and then switch on the anamorphic adapter, you could see straight away that it's now de-squeezed it. It looks correct uh, in the um, window of the, of the iPhone there. Now the other thing you do is you just have to determine what lens you're using, uh, but I'm just setting it on um, the wide and then that's it. Then you're right to go. You just have to set your exposure settings and things like that. Uh, but like I said, that's, that's, there's many tutorials on YouTube about that. Uh, and then you can just go out and shoot. So let me know what you think about uh, all the footage that I showed you. Uh, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this over the coming weeks and months. I can't wait to travel with it, for instance. Uh, I think it'll be really fantastic. Uh, I love the way that it gives you that cinematic look um, with the de-squeeze. Uh, and using it with Filmic Pro makes it really, really easy. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for Sam Mark for sending me this. I really appreciate that, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.